watching closely. The Prestige is co-written, co-produced, and directed by the one, the only, Christopher Nolan. It's the film he did in between Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. Now, funny enough, I don't recall ever seeing this in theaters, but I do recall the day I bought this on DVD. But nothing really special happened. I just bought it and watched it. And after seeing it now for the third or fourth time, I believe that this is his most challenging film. I think most would argue that Inception is his most challenging film and I can see why, but um, I think this one is. It is a very complex story, and it deals with something that really goes beyond magic. Obsession. We all have our own obsessions. Mine are movies and Batman. Not like I haven't made it obvious or anything. And what I think this film does is perfectly portray what can happen when someone with a talent can become obsessed with someone or something. The Prestige is many things. It's a drama, it's a period piece, love story, in more than one way, uh, but above all, it is a tragedy. You see two men who are very good at what they do, and over time you see how their love for magic becomes an obsession over not magic, but just pure competition. I've been told pretty much from the get-go that this, you know, what I want to do trying to pursue this is unwise because uh, not a lot of folks, you know, make it. And especially nowadays, it no longer seems to be about who can make the most thought-provoking piece of art. It just seems to be about who can make the studio the biggest profit. Because obviously it's all about the money. That's it. It's all about the, the freaking money. If you want to, you know, make it then figure out what sells and do that. Screw trying to make something that has actual meaning to it, just get those seats filled and pray that you make at the very least double your budget back. But what I've come to learn, and something these characters fail to do, is that you do what you do, and for however long, because you first and foremost love it. Making money and getting noticed is essentially where everyone wants to go, but actually caring about what you're doing and being proud of it, that is something else. Paychecks will never be able to sum up how proud someone is of their work. Ever. But anyways, sorry, tangent, back to the film. My one complaint is at the end when everything is explained. I'm very thankful that he gave us visuals to go along with the dialogue and for that only Doc half a grade. But I feel like him revealing all that about Bale's character was like him showing us his secret, his prestige. And I don't think it was wise to show all that he did. Most of it was fine and a fantastic twist. But I just don't feel like he needed to show us everything. And so for that, I give the prestige four and a half out of five stars. It would have been four had there been no visuals for that bit, but there were, so only minus half a star. It has a great cast and an extraordinary sense of pacing that you don't find in most of today's movies. And if you haven't seen it yet, I more than recommend it. Especially if you're looking for a little bit more sophistication than The Incredible Bart Wonderstone. Ah, uh, wow, that was a bad one to compare this to. <laughs> My apologies. And now, until Interstellar, I am done reviewing Nolan's filmography. Unless you count Doodlebug, which he did in college, and it's like seven minutes long. Yeah, that doesn't really count. Thanks for your time. Have an awesome day.